going to start the newscast by turning live to our reporter on standby at the main press center. There are Hwang Ho Jun, a part of the Panmunjom press pool, is live for us. Ho Jun, it must been it must have been a dramatic day for you. And I think moments ago we saw some footages of the banquet coming in live uh, with North Korean leader as well as the South Korean leader uh, Moon Jae-in and their first ladies also in attendance, um, uh, which is I believe still unfolding. What do we have about that? Well, good evening, you guys. And as you said, the welcoming dinner commenced in honor of the visiting North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on the third floor of the Peace House just about an hour and a half ago. And as you said, uh, Lee Sol-ju, Kim Jong-un's wife, also arrived in time for the event, as well as South Korea's First Lady Kim Jong-suk. Yes, we actually did receive some of the footages here at the main press center. And uh, while we still have no idea what the entirety looks like, but from the footage, we think they're actually having a grand time. A farewell ceremony for Kim Jong-un and Lee Sol-ju is set to follow the dinner tonight. Uh, its time is yet to be determined. Uh, but of course, the highlight of the day came when the joint declaration was made by the two leaders. It's now called the Panmunjom Declaration. And for the first time in history, President Moon and Kim Jong-un held a joint press conference after signing the declaration. Needless to say, everyone here at the main press center was spellbound by the live screen during the event. President Moon and Kim both declared there will no longer be war on the Korean Peninsula and a new era of peace has begun. They pledged to cooperate to de-escalate military tension by halting all aggression of any form and to realize a, quote, complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. The agreement also says the two leaders will seek to make an official declaration of the end of war within this year. The two Koreas technically remain at war as the Korean War, which started from 1950 to 1953, ended with an armistice, not a peace treaty. A reunion of separated families will also take place in this coming August 15th. Back to you guys.